If you were recently diagnosed with high blood pressure, or you already are taking blood pressure medications, you might be wondering what your target blood pressure should be. In this video, we will discuss what a normal blood pressure is and what you should be aiming for. For more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. In 2017, the American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association issued new guidelines that redefined blood pressure readings. Blood pressure categories are generally defined as normal, less than 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury, elevated, 120 to 129 over above 80 millimeter of mercury, hypertension, stage 1, 130 to 139 over 80 to 89 millimeter of mercury, hypertension stage 2, above 140 over 90 plus millimeter of mercury, Hypertensive crisis, 180 plus over 120 plus millimeter of mercury. Due to those changes, many people whose blood pressure was considered normal were now blood pressure patients. This raised an important debate about the one size fits all to health metrics like blood pressure and whether it fairly accounts for individual differences. The 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury blood pressure standard is a guideline based on large population studies. It reflects a range where health risks, like heart disease, stroke, kidney failure, are minimized in the average person. However, it's true that people vary widely in their body types, genetics, activity levels, and ages. For example, as people age, their arteries naturally become less flexible, so blood pressure may increase slightly. There are discussions about whether it's reasonable to expect an elderly person to maintain the same blood pressure as a younger adult. Is it likely that we are causing more harm than good while stringently trying to maintain blood pressure at 120 over 80? Remember this blood pressure lowering medications come with their set of side effects which should also be managed. Some critics argue that Big Pharma benefits from setting low thresholds for what constitutes high blood pressure, potentially putting more people on medications than necessary. This critique isn't without merit. Pharmaceutical companies do have financial incentives in selling medicine. The idea of having same blood pressure target for everyone is meant to serve as a useful general guideline, but it's not ideal for every person. In short, we should not worry so much about the number or rush to the doctor asking for more medication if your blood pressure is above 120. But again, we are not suggesting that you allow the blood pressure to drift up to dangerously high level. I think if the top number is above 160 and the bottom number is above 100, you are in the territory where for most people it needs to be brought down by medication. What we are suggesting is to number one, get a home blood pressure monitor and start taking home blood pressure readings, which is a better representative of your actual blood pressure, as opposed to the reading at the doctor's office, which may be incorrect due to white coat hypertension. Check our this next video on how to take blood pressure at home to ensure you get correct results. Keep a record of the readings that you've taken over a couple of weeks and take them with your doctor's office together with your home blood pressure monitor so that you can compare the readings from your doctor's machine and your machine to make sure they correlate. Go through the results with a trusted doctor to determine the best course of action based on your overall health and other medications. Because as we've said, what is right for one person may not be right for the other. Sometimes the benefits of stringently maintaining your blood pressure at 120 may not be worth the physical, mental, or emotional cost and sacrifices. Additionally, if you are in what I call the gray area where the systolic, the top number is between 120 to 140, and the bottom number is between 80 and 100. It's good to focus on changing lifestyle and improve the general state of your health. Quit smoking if you do. Get moving if you have been living a sedentary life. Eat less processed foods and reduce stress. With this changes, most people are able to wean themselves off blood pressure medications. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on blood pressure control.